You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government by and for the people. Quick updates on court action on election subversion, voting rights, and redistricting in the states of New Mexico, New Hampshire, and Louisiana. Last week, we brought you the story of New Mexico's Otero County Commission, which refused to certify the county's state primary election results because they didn't trust the state-inspected tabulation machines. On Thursday, the New Mexico Secretary of State's request to the courts to compel the commission to certify the results was granted. The commission then voted 2-1 to to certify with election denier and convicted January 6 participant Coy Griffin the holdout. Friday, within hours of signing a New Hampshire voter suppression provisional ballot bill, Governor Chris Sununu and the New Hampshire legislature now face a lawsuit by voting rights groups. SB 418 throws out a system which currently allows voters lacking a piece of documentation to still vote and have it count. Now, voters will have to return with documentation or the vote is invalidated. Typically, over 600 people each election use the former system with almost no abuse. Finally, to Louisiana, where the state attorney general has joined in an appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court to derail a lower court ruling allowing the redrawing of the congressional voting district map. Governor John Bell Edwards had vetoed the legislature's map, saying that the map should include a second African-American district, since one-third of the state's population is black. Links to articles on these cases and where you can take action are at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. For the American Democracy Minute, I'm Brian Beal.